What's going on today, guys? Welcome back to the channel. On today's episode of Breakdowns of Brian, we're going to be going over my 2016 F-150 here. Uh, we're going to be changing out the, uh, I guess, control unit or unlocking mechanism here on the tailgate. Um, if you watch my other video, I show you how to get into the tailgate, uh, especially if you have a cover like I had a cover uh, and I couldn't get on the inside of it. Uh, you're going to take the uh, rear plate off, which comes off pretty easy. And then there's a little switch on the inside here. Uh, you just flip it over and it, you can unlock it manually. Um, what you're gonna need for this job is a T25. For these bits here, uh, you're gonna need a 10 millimeter for these bolts here, just the two of them. Um, you can probably get a needle nose and some kind of pick or a really small screwdriver. And let's get into it. All right, so here is the part number um i'll have i'll put a link in the description as well uh, but if you want to pause it right there there's the part number there's a few of them on there uh, as far as what it says here it just says control it doesn't actually say what it is um, but we're going to be replacing this here's what the new one looks like uh, mine on the inside uh, there's little plastic gears here uh, on the inside and those have gone bad i'll see if you can let's see if i can unlock it you can see that it's actually moving uh, the amount that it should. And everything is free here. You won't have any of this crap on here because uh, that's what I thought it was. Maybe the gears or the uh, slides here. So I put some grease on it. But you can actually see that it's moving. But on the inside, you can feel here that the little plastic gears on the inside of there are slipping. Uh, you can't just replace this piece here uh, because this piece goes all the way through and it's like pressed in. Um, so it's not a bolt, unfortunately, so you can't just replace the whole thing. Um, it was, so I actually went down to my Ford parts department and I paid like $90 for it. And I was looking at some other stuff online and kind of find out that you can buy this online, like Ford OEM parts.com. I'll put a link in the description, uh, where you can get this and it's like 50, 50 or $60. So little disappointed that they mark it up about $40, about 40%. Uh, so let's get into it. So you've got your, you've got clips here. You're, you're going to want to uh, measure, not really measure, but kind of eyeball it here on how many you got here. They do come with all brand new clips, but just to get it out, you're going to push on the inside. Let me drop it down a little bit. You're just going to push the clip here and it comes out just like that. Kind of put it back there. You've got this one here. Like I said, it doesn't matter if you break those um, because the new ones come with it. Uh, you also have your handle release here. And this is where, if you wanted to use the needle nose, you could, but there's just a little piece here and you just push it down. There's uh, two tabs. That's where the needle nose comes into play. Like I said, or you can just use a knife or something and cut it because you've got new ones. Just like that. And we'll take the tens out. Move these out of the way and it should just pop right out. Uh, you also have the, you got some, uh, your clip here, and you just pop that out. You have this little piece here, and I will open this up to see how the insides look uh, once I'm done with this. I'm curious on that as well. So now we're just going to reverse everything. Go ahead and put your plug in. Make sure it snaps. You want to put this piece in there so it's not flailing around in there. Um, I guess before, let's take this back out and we'll take the plastic one off of here for your handle uh, for the outside. 
Now you can also just lube it up again if you wanted to, like how I did mine. But there's no need to, really, uh, because there's no water or anything uh, that gets in the inside of there. So, we'll turn this piece here. I know you really can't see it because of the, the light itself, but it's just doing everything in reverse, so... on here and these clips are actually pretty handy and they just snap right in let's get our nuts back on definitely sounds a whole lot better. So just to make sure all the bolts out of the way, those are up. So I was not getting anything from the handle as well. So let's unlock it and good as new. So like I said, it was about uh, 50, maybe $60 online. Um, I didn't need it right away, so you can definitely go online. I'll put a link in the description. Um, it's probably the same price as Rock Auto. Uh, honestly, Rock Auto is pretty cheap, um, but with, with this, it was like two day shipping um, for my Forge department, but uh, it'll probably be three or four days uh, if you wanna order it online. Uh, now I'm gonna, Cut the video and try to pull that apart. All right, guys. So here's what the inside of the mechanism looks like. That actually goes inside of here. Um, it's just like two little feet here. Uh, the feet look pretty good. It doesn't look like there's much wear and tear on them at all. Uh, if you want to take it off, just some little clips on here and a T. Let's see, a T15 to take the two screws out. Um, and then all you have is here. So you have this piece that just sits in here and then it moves it like this. Uh, this piece here looks pretty good. Uh, you can see that there's definitely some rust down in here. I can't take the little actuator out, um, but there's definitely some rust in here. So I may even take that back out, maybe throw some uh, something on the inside of here, but it's gonna sit in here just like this, and you can see how it works. It's probably gonna jump a little bit, but it's when it's in there, it doesn't jump, but it's actuating and it's doing what it's supposed to be doing, but it, as you saw, that it just wasn't unlocking. Uh, but if you like the video, hit that like and subscribe. If you uh, wanna have any uh, questions, comments, or concerns about this job or any other job that I've done, um, put a comment in the section below, and I'll get back as soon as I can. Until next time, guys.